If you want to make any object as a vector in a Figma, all you need to do is select the object. Let's start with this text and I will show you a quick example. Let's say we already created a text and we want to upscale it proportionally. But we cannot because it's a text. All we can do is just change the size for the text and make it very big. And it's okay, especially if we want to edit this text after. But what if we want to create a logotype using that text so other people also can change it, upscale it. In that case, all we need to do is just hit the right button and go to the outline stroke. And that's how we get our vector object. All the letters now is a vector and you can do whatever you can do with the vector object. If you want to unite them in a one vector object without the separation, all we need to do is just hit the right button and click flatten. And that's how you can reach and upscale and manipulate the text as a vector object. But the thing is what we are losing here, we cannot manipulate this text as a text anymore. We cannot make it bolder. We cannot change this letter spacing or any other properties. But what we can do, we can upscale it and we can manipulate with that. And let me show you quickly one example how we can use that thing. For example, we want to make this looks more interesting by cut it a little bit. All I need to do just let you Use this rectangle tool, make these two lines here. And the next thing I'm going to do, select all the objects here and then click Subtract Selection. And as you may see here, we already have our lines, but we still can remove these lines. And if we want to make it as a whole complete vector object by setting this cutted area here, all we need to do is just select it and click Flatten. That's it. Now we can send our logo to our client or we can send to our partners or the graphic designers so they can work with that logo in their software. How else we can use this manipulation, this option? I want to show you the problem I was faced with myself. So the company style was to have everything in a square. It was the brand style. And basically all I need to do is just create the square, add the stroke, make the stroke folder like let's say 150 or just a 50 and then remove the background. And that's pretty much it. You may think that's enough. Now we have a, our icon inside the circle. But the problem here, because this stroke is a not a vector object, the problem here that we cannot upscale and make it bigger proportionally. So if I will make it bigger, as you may see here, the stroke still has this 50 pixels width. But I want to make it proportionally upscale together with the icon. And that's how we can solve that. Just select the circle, Click the right button and then outline stroke and select two objects and let's make it as a whole icon by by clicking flatten and this is how we can now upscale all together and as you may see here the v for this stroke also stays the same and it's upscaling together proportionally with the whole icon we cannot merge them together we can just keep them separately or we can create another group for this object and then we can just take the circle take it out of the group in the layers and then put another icon inside and create another group and that's how we have our two icons in the same style and also we can work a little bit more with this ellipse that we have inside and that is already as a vector object let's say we want to make it a little bit more wider like bolder the thing is we can do many ways first we can just double click this object and then we have these dots and we can just a little bit move the dots proportionally to make it older but this is like a very difficult way because you need to be very accurate with that what i'm doing myself i'm just selecting this object adding the another stroke let's say another 50 pixels and then clicking outside and then right button outline stroke in the top menu union selection and that's how i get another vector outline circle but wider and bolder and we also can manipulate with this beautiful circle but as you may see here, it still stays the same. So as you may see here, even though it was united, it's you can still manipulate with the stroke. You can remove the stroke if you want to. But what I'm doing after all, I'm just creating a clicking right button and make it flatten. And the thing is that you can actually play a little bit more with these two objects. Let's say I want to create another beautiful shape or like logotype or something else. So I can exclude selection and get something like this. It's an very interesting and nice result. Then I can just duplicate it, just move it around, make it smaller, place it somewhere here. Let's say select all of them, play it another, uh, click another exclude selection and see more interesting result. And that's how you can reach that by transforming any object and make it as a vector in a Figma. If you have any other questions, just leave them in a comment. All useful links and interesting information you can find in the description. 
Thanks all for watching that video. Please subscribe to my channel, smash like.